Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the domain and range of this function. If you're wondering what the function is, z is actually equal to f of xy. So you can think of it like this. This is xy over x minus y. So your input is an ordered pair, x comma y, and your output is a real number, z. So the domain is a set of ordered pairs, and so we simply have to look at this and think, where does this make sense? Well, this will make sense as long as the bottom is not zero. In other words, as long as x is not equal to y. So for the domain, the main condition that we need to consider is that x is not equal to y. Because if x is equal to y, then we're dividing by zero, and that's no good. So let's go ahead and write the answer down. It's a set of ordered pairs, x comma y. So the set of all ordered pairs, x comma y, such that, that's how you read the line, it's such that x is not equal to y. So this would be a perfectly professional, acceptable answer to the domain. It's really important to write your answers in set notation because by definition, the domain is the set of all inputs. So it does not suffice to simply write x not equal to y. For the range, it's the set of all outputs. Plugging numbers in here, you're going to get a real number. So the range is a is, consists of elements of real numbers. Anything is fair game here. You should be able to get any possible real number using this expression because you can plug in anything you like here as long as x is not equal to y. So the range is simply going to be all real numbers. So in this case, we can just write that as negative infinity to infinity. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is learning some Calculus 3. Take care.